It was brought to my attention that there is a recording available of Elon Musk talking with journalists about some of this very stuff we've been talking about. So I looked into it. I found the clip. And let's go into it. I don't think anybody in this room supports stalking. I'm sorry to hear about what happened with your family. Um, do you have evidence connecting the incident in L.A. Um, with this flight tracking data? And Well, notice that Musk never really addresses that. Uh, separately, you know, if this is an important enough issue to you, why not enact the rule change on Twitter and give accounts like Jack Sweeney's time to respond to, like you said, a slight delay in providing the data. Why say last month that you would support keeping his account online for free speech and then immediately suspend not just his account, but journalists reporting on it? Uh, yeah. Um, well, as I'm sure everyone who's been doxed and uh, would agree, you know, uh, showing real-time uh, information about somebody's location is uh, inappropriate, and I think everyone on this call would not like that to be done to them. Now, perhaps they shouldn't have asked such a compound question, but the first part of their question never got answered, and that is, how does having this information about Elon's private jet cause a serious risk to his life? Are we worried about terrorists who are going to try to shoot down the plane? Are we worried about people coming to the airport, the wherever the private airport or whatever airport he's at that he goes to, uh, that, that people are going to swarm his car and, and they're going to... I mean, I mean, what is the actual worry here when it comes to his private jet stuff? And, and there is not going to be any distinction in the future between journalists, so-called journalists, and, and regular people. Everyone's going to be treated the same. They're not special because you're a journalist. You're, you're just, you're, you're a Twitter, you're just, you're a citizen. Um, so, uh, no special treatment. Um, you dox, you dox, you get suspended. End of story. Um, so, and, 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 and ban evasion, ban evasion, or like, or, or trying to be clever about it. Like, oh, I posted a link to the real-time information. It's obviously, uh, it, that is obviously simply trying to evade the, the, the meaning. That is, there's no different from than, pace, than actually showing real-time information. I mean, you're, you're suggesting that we're sharing your uh, address, which is not not true. Um, and you're suggesting that we're we're it posting. We never. I, I I never posted your address. You posted a link to the address. We posted a link. We, in, in the course of reporting about Elon Jet, we posted links to Elon Jet, which are now not online um, and now banned on, on Twitter. And, and Twitter also, of course, marks even the Instagram and Mastodon accounts of Elon Jet as, as harmful. Using, you know, we have to admit, acknowledge, using the same exact link blocking technique that you have criticized as part of the Hunter Biden New York Post story in 2020. So what is different? So it does appear that some of the people commenting on my last video might have been right. It could have just been someone mentioning Elon Jet, and he'd give a problem with it. It, it sounds like he really is going after them like, like Twitter did the Hunter Biden story, and, and that's, that's not good. Yeah. Here and there. It's no, more acceptable for me. It's, it's no more acceptable for me, for you, than it is for me. Same thing. So, anyway. Uh, so it's unacceptable what you're doing? No, what you, you, you dox, you get suspended, end of story, that's it. How well does he think he can manage that kind of rule, where if you post a link to a website that happens to dox someone, can your account be suspended? Because, I mean, maybe you didn't know that they were doxing someone. I mean, this is going to be kind of messy, isn't it? We'll see, though, but it... It does look like he is making up rules as he goes along. And we knew some of that would happen, but um, I don't know how well this is going to foster freedom of speech, but we'll see, right? It's, we're we're going to have to watch a lot of mistakes be made and maybe some fatal ones as far as the platform itself. I don't know, <laughs> with all this stuff that's happening, I don't know how he's going to keep Hardly any advertisers on the platform. 
We'll just have to see, though, right? <laughs>